Timestamps are in the description below. If you decide to click on one, it will take you to the news article of your choice. Stephen Clark here with the latest from Thailand and Southeast Asia. First up, what have we got? Tokyo Olympics games delayed by one year. A Chinese woman caught spitting all over to spread the coronavirus. Health certificates required for all visitors to Thailand. Thai government set up to hand out 5,000 Thai baht a month to its nationals. Thai leader to invoke emergency powers to suppress the virus. Now that is an interesting story. But first up, the latest from the Tokyo Olympics of 2020. Tokyo Olympics delayed for one year due to the coronavirus. Japanese Prime Minister Shinzo Abe and the International Olympic Committee have agreed to delay the 2020 Tokyo Olympics by one year, above all due to the worries of holding the event during the coronavirus pandemic. Mr Abe told reporters on Tuesday he won the backing from the proposal to delay the Games planned to start in July. In a telephone call with IOC President Thomas Speck, the Tokyo Olympics will not be cancelled. Mr. Abbey told reporters in Tokyo after the call. The postponement would be the first since the modern games began in the 19th century and make the Tokyo 2020 Olympics the biggest sporting event called off due to the pandemic that has led to plunge in global markets and slamming the brakes on international travel. This is the second time the Olympics have been postponed. They were postponed in 1944 due to World War II. A Chinese female national was arrested for spitting all over deliberately non-stop on the public transports in Thailand. It is perceived she was trying to spread the coronavirus deliberately to Thai nationals. She was allegedly found spitting repeatedly inside a bus from Bangkok to Surabari. She then rode a train to Bangkok and started spitting all over again. An official picture was posted by the Department of Disease Prevention and Mitigation, showing officials in protective suits arresting the woman after responding to a complaint on social media that a Chinese woman was spitting in public transport. The female Chinese national reportedly wandered onto a bus to spit at different spots, causing concern among the passengers amid the coronavirus outbreak. As she arrived at the bus terminal, public health officials tried to take her to test for the coronavirus. But she refused to comply, saying that she was staying for only a few days and walked away. The female from China was spotted again on a train from Bangkok. This time the officials decided to arrest her. The woman resisted and tried to spit on officials. But they pushed her to the ground and closed her mouth. The woman was arrested and sent to be tested for the coronavirus. The Thai public was wondering if it was a deliberate attempt by the Chinese to its citizens around the world to spread the coronavirus. The Thai public also wants answers from the Ministry of Tourism, who has been very accommodating to the Chinese tourists and never allowed the country to be locked down from foreign arrivals. In fact, the whole current Thai government, which has always been extremely accommodating with Chinese, should give an explanation to the Thai public concerning the safety of Thai citizens from Chinese tourists like these. They also are among 450,000 Chinese nationals currently in the country, if not more. Health certificate required for all visitors to Thailand. The Thai government will extend the requirements of medical certificates and health insurance from Sunday to cover all visitors to the country regardless of nationality to curb the spread of the coronavirus. We are blocking infections from coming into the country. That is why visitors to Thailand need medical certificates and health insurance to enter Thailand. This will now include all countries to minimise infections. So we are controlling it, Prime Minister Priyat Chanachat said. Thailand reported 60 new coronavirus cases. 
the biggest daily jump in the number of cases so far to take its total infection to 272, the Public Health Ministry said. Travellers to Thailand have to now show authorities a health certificate issued no more than 72 hours before travelling to show that they have been tested and are free of the coronavirus. They must also present an insurance policy showing minimum coverage for coronavirus of no less than 100,000 US dollars. Another setback for the Thailand tourist industry, but it cannot be helped. And this is to protect the Thai people from infection. The Thai government is set to hand out a 5,000 baht a month to informal workers to help them after the coronavirus crisis. The Thai government is set to provide the country's estimated 3 million informal workers 5,000 baht a month to help relieve financial burdens caused by the coronavirus, which has caused tens of thousands of businesses to close across Thailand temporarily. Informal workers, such as those who are contract, self-employed or temporary employees, will be able to claim 5,000 baht through several methods. The program and payment begins on April 1, 2020. They will need to register with either the Government Savings Bank of Bangkok, the Bank of Agricultural, or online at special websites that will say nobody will be left behind in Thai. The money will be handed out for at least three months at this point, from April to June, to those who register and are qualified. Payment will be made via direct transfer from electronic wallets in bank accounts. Additionally, the applicants can apply for emergency loans of up to 10,000 Thai baht a person with low interest rates if they need more money that can be taken for up to two years with no guarantees. 40 million baht is being set aside for this. Finally, the third option for those who have guarantee for a loan of up to 50,000 Thai baht, loan at low interest for up to three years, 20 million baht set aside for this purpose. This is part of an overall 200 million baht stimulation measure approved by the Thai cabinet yesterday to help the millions of people who are temporarily without work. Thailand will invoke emergency powers to suppress the coronavirus. Thailand's leader said on Tuesday he would invoke whipping emergency powers in the face of the surging coronavirus infection. In a sign of toughening official action, a man was arrested over allegedly creating panic on social media. Thailand and neighbouring Cambodia were among Southeast Asian countries accused by the New York-based Human Rights Watch of using the pandemic to crack down on criticism. Both countries rejected the accusations and said their measures are needed to keep order and combat disinformation. Thailand has the region's second highest number of virus cases after Malaysia. Prime Minister Priyat Achinachat, who first seized power in 2014 coup, said he would invoke powers to help suppress the virus that has swept the world since January, killing some 16,500 people, infecting more than 375,000. Priyat said details of specific powers to be used would be set out later. One of the sweeping powers to be introduced to censor or shut down media if deemed necessary. Priyat Chinachat rules by decree until an election early last year which opponents say was engineered to keep him in office, an allegation he denies. The panic. With growing concerns in Thailand over the spread of the virus, the government has said a man had been arrested after posting false statements about a lack of coronavirus screening at Bangkok Main International Airport. The post created panic for the public and eroded their confidence in Sawinapum Airport. The Minister of Digital Affairs said, Artist Daniel Suma, 42, posted that he had gone through the new health screening and been given no instructions by officers when he arrived from a flight from Barcelona. He was charged under the Computer Crimes Act, punishable by five years in prison. US-based human rights watchers accused Southeast Asian countries of using the virus as an excuse to crack down on dissidents, saying that 17 people had been arrested in Cambodia over social media posts. What these government ministers forget, in the era of the coronavirus, they need the cooperation of the people, and slamming people into prison will achieve the exact opposite, said Philip Robertson, the group Deputy Asian Director.